disturbing stalkers caught on Twitch live stream part two. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. I ain't even see part one. Looking for attention, either from them or the audience of popular streamers. These streamers caught some disturbing, uncomfortable, downright aggressive behavior while live in front of their audience. From groping to endangerment and everything in between. A few of these streamers are lucky they made it out unscathed if perhaps shaken by the encounter. You'll just have to wait and see what I mean by that. Tailed by aggressive teenagers. While streaming, Greek God X seems to be accosted by followers quite often, though this time he seems increasingly afraid and worried. A group of girls follows the man as he becomes increasingly concerned, asking them to please leave him alone. Leave me alone, please. He's on the verge of tears being followed and they continue to pasture him as they don't want to be shown in the video. I just want you to fucking remove it. I, I can, I'll remove it. I you promise you. One of the girls complains about him filming them when in reality, they seemingly jump into the frame to badger him, whether this was real or not. Leave me alone. Um, they can only see my face, I promise. Too close for you pathetic my guy you grown as fuck you supposed to be a man a man is masculine we ain't the same if you men i'm gods man i'm the original you can't call the original the prototype after you was made however the fuck long you been here but i say that to say still nonetheless you supposed to be masculine you running for from some karen some thought white bit cockazoy bitches that's crazy I don't know if he was acting it out. It ain't look acted out. It looked like he was genuinely pussyfooting. That's embarrassing. Anybody like that that's so-called supposed to be a man, you should not be procreating. At that point, you recessive creating. Weak NPCs. That's crazy. Like, what the, what the bitches have? Machetes on them or some shit? For comfort. Another vlogging streamer, Ellie Gatto, is being tailed by a stranger the whole time she's filming. He's following her closely, and the streamer quickly calls him out for the behavior. This guy, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Sorry. Whoa. Is he just like trying to... Sorry, they could have He seems to be dissuaded, but she pulls back. What business he had getting so close to her... Sorry, they could have What she say? She said fucking English after that. I seen her mouth. That nigga was weird as hell. Was she at Tokyo, Japan? It's not given Korean. She in Japan or some shit, right? Her is unclear. It looks almost like he's trying to get under her umbrella, and at other points, he's trying to grope her. He just started following me. And then trying to like, oh my god, I feel so disgusted right now. Unfortunately for him, the whole strange interaction was caught on camera and he quickly made his escape. Homeless man approaches asking for drug money. While streaming their walk through the city, streamer Glinksy comes across a twitchy looking man asking him for money for drugs. He offers the homeless man some food, but the man seems less interested in eating as he is for drugs. Okay, I'll tell you what, if we find like a good food place, we'll come back and bring it here, just stay here. Well, how long do you do it here for? All right, sure. This strange, uncomfortable confrontation becomes real as the man gets closer, grabbing his shoulder and explaining he wants $5 for drugs, not food. I need five. $5 for what? For food? Quickly, the streamer refuses, pulling away and leaving. Bro, I don't want to support that. Yeah, I don't support that. Luckily, this interaction ended quickly and without any further issues. I wonder how much of this had to do with the very public filmed nature of things. People do crazy things under the influence sometimes. Nonetheless, everybody that's like that and cracked up, doped up, fucked up, shit, you got them fucked up. They nonetheless, they a product of this construct. Some people make it. Some become a LeBron James, far few in between. Some become movie stars. Some become rappers. Some go to jail and people get paid off of that. Did you know if these prisoners weren't in jail, they somehow was doing good and the system wasn't set up for them to fail? 
If that was to happen, it's literally places that will starve and go hungry because they ain't getting paid. They dependent upon keeping people in jail and making money off of that. On top of it being like, it could be like, I forgot what company it was. It could be like a Walmart or something and they got stocks in prison. This shit is corrupt and it's like, you seen the videos where somebody playing with like a million cards, a dominoes, and then they all just hitting it. We in the epic ass matrix and they all connected. One thing hit on another and another and another. Nonetheless, people that end up like these and Jeffrey Dahmer's and Richard Ramirez is just, nonetheless, they a product of this construct that's built on lies, genocide, and you pumping poison to us via the frequencies, barium, chemtrails, the fluoride in the water, toothpaste, your pants attacking you. You might be laughing at that comment, but that's true. The dye in your pants truly attacking you. You thought the pharaohs was just swaggy like that for no reason in ancient Egypt, also known as Kemet. And they was wearing skirts to you. There was reasons for that. Even the cloth they chose. But you chose pants, jeans with the dye in it. And look up what that can, what that do to you. We being attacked in so many, in every avenue. Me looking at the screen. And I didn't felt it. You didn't felt it as well. If you got a computer, if you stream or anything, you looking at the screen too long. You need the blue filter glasses. I ain't got them. And then your eyes start hurting. Your vision ain't the same. This vision and this one, I better than that. We being attacked in every way, shape, and form. Just know that. But um, let's continue. It's crazy. Streamer saves girl from creepy guy following her. Making your way through a city can be full of twists and turns, and if you're not careful, you can miss it. While meeting some fans, this streamer was quick to act, as these girls were being tailed by a creepy man they didn't know anything about. We're helping save her right now from... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he stuck... I didn't do almost everything. That's the only thing I ain't do yet. It's like IRL live stream on Twitch or like how some people make vlogs. I've did everything else, music and some old shit. Let me know if I should try this shit out. I don't know how the fuck I will go about this. I don't even know how I feel about it. But it is one thing I haven't tried out. And I would suggest if you IRL streaming like this, you should have some people with you. Because if you attended to the phone looking at the comments and walking around this bitch, you need to have people around you because some shit can happen. You could be on this motherfucker. Motherfucker can throw a tomahawk at you and, and send you back to the loading screen. It happens. It can't happen. Just be ready because this shit, you're cutting your senses off to a point. You're distracting yourself with something while you're walking. I don't walk and listen to music or none of that shit. I don't do that. That shit dangerous. My brother, my older brother was an example of that. Nigga, all the time, used to walk, listen to the music. Nigga got drunk because of that before. Ain't no what hit him. You're cutting off your, some of your senses and you distracted. You can't do that. You need to be alert. I don't care if you at the suburbs. You got John Wayne Gay Gacy's in the suburbs that dress up as clowns and eat people. John Wayne Gacy wasn't the last of them. You just ain't hear about them yet. You will hear about them years down the line when they catch them. But we got over, what, 2,000-something active serial killers in the United States alone. It's dangerous out here. It's real out here. They in the hood, the trenches, and they in the upper echelons of the middle class and rich neighborhoods as well. It's dangerous out here. So if I'm doing these, I gotta have, I'm gotta. i going to have some people with me or something. Ain't finna have my senses cut off and I'm paying attention to a chat. Nah. Look around, watching, ensuring they were okay. To ensure the creepy man didn't do something to the seemingly uninebriated girls. The guy lurks just a few steps away from them, watching and waiting for the streamers to leave. Eventually, the group leaves together, keeping an eye on the girls and getting them to safety. The girls, in English, explained that they don't know the man and he's been tailing them for a while, but luckily ran into the streamer at the right time. There's no predatorial people are everywhere. It's dangerous. So now I see a lot of jokes in a lot of these videos. I tell a lot of troops as well. It's up to you to find the gems I drop. But um, I say that to say... That's another reason why I don't want no daughter as well. They get preyed upon, bro. It's it's crazy out here. You wouldn't believe it. Kids go miss every, every 30 to 40 seconds. And it's another statistic number two for grown-ass adult females that go missing and get snatched and took as well. Traffic, dope her up. Well, she addicted to drugs now. Everybody slut her out. And 
You saying taken, I will find you and I will kill you. That shit real. It's, we on a, a prison hell like planet, at least right now. And it's been like this ever since we knew, ever since we knew, even the history, not his story. It's dangerous out here, bro. Disturbing man follows streamers in back alley, tries to attack. This streamer was unlucky enough to get tailed in a creepy, low visibility alleyway, but they captured it all on camera. They see him on the side of the road and he quickly approaches them. They ask the man about finding a massage place, but he's a little standoffish at first. What's up? How's it going? Do you know where a place is open to massage right now? The man doesn't seem interested in conversation, but eventually tries to... They think they just kicking it and they got a creepy guy following, following them. That guy right there might be a Jeffrey Dahmer that's yet to be discovered. That got a sick, twisted fetish. He act on his impulses. That 98 point... 7% naturally violent chimpanzee that consists of his genetic composition and he acting on it. That dude probably ain't go to none of that. He probably went right back home or found somebody else and did it to him. Just know it's like that, bro. Here on Earth, it's, it's, they show you Walt Disney glitz and glamour, dots twerking, clothes, jewelry, all this shit, money. And ben beneath those layers, you really looking, this shit still goes on. Some people, I am telling you, everything exists in this a matrix we in, this like matrix. To convince them to turn off the camera. If you turn the camera off, I'll talk to the guys. Uh, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Uh, about what? About where to find left and right? Oh no, we're just chilling out there. Luckily, they refuse to do it. That doesn't seem like enough because he sets the camera down and tries to get them to leave it behind. When they refuse, the person holding the camera is left behind while the other guy walks off to talk to the creepy man in private. When the streamer filming walks off, he comes back to see his friend got mugged. His jacket was stolen, leaving him without a shirt. Your jacket got stolen? A bit of time goes by and the man refuses to leave them alone, eventually trying to steal their phone before the guys manage to run into a shop for safety. It's probably best to not. Look at that shit. What the fuck, dude? No. No. What the fuck? Motherfucker ain't gonna try me like that. You pick up my circadian rhythm. It shows I'm competent, I'm capable. I'm numb. I seen it all. I'm a stoicist. I'm a realist as well. And once more, more importantly, I'm capable. Don't play with me. Niggas is not finna try me like that. I'm on I'm streaming and shit and then you Nah, I'ma tell I get in court, I'ma tell them I was in fear for my life. Even though I ain't scared of shit with two arms and two legs, it's over. It's crazy out here, it's dangerous and on earth is dangerous. Streamer suddenly swatted in home by follower. This streamer is going about her normal day, playing with her cat on stream, drinking, and chatting with her followers. Suddenly, she hears a few sirens go off outside, realizing it was her house they were surrounding. Oh yeah, Dallas life. Listen to that shit. Oh shit! Guys, I don't know what's going on. The footage cuts as she runs to the door, and as it turns out, she's been swatted. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is an unfortunate trend of internet. That's why it's just stupid. Somebody gonna die if somebody already haven't died. It's gonna be one of them pussy ass Caucasian, whatever swap members coming in, motherfuckers, see somebody black or somebody. And they just scared and pussy by default. You just gonna pull the trigger. And if it already hasn't happened, somebody let me know in the comment section if it's happened already. But it will. It's crazy how these people don't get apprehended, the ones that do that. That's a dang that's some dangerous shit. And then you in your facility, your house away you pay bills, and you just supposed to lay down on the ground like a recessive bitch because of what somebody else did. Knowing me, I ain't I ain't doing it. 
It may be crazy to you. Yeah, I, I guess so. I might be crazy. But, and what you pay bills at because of what some, some, somebody else did, you lay on the ground, put your hands behind your back till they figure things out. And then they just give you a fake ass apology afterwards. Shit crazy. Pranking. The viewers obtain the streamer's personal address and information only to report them for a fake emergency via 911, causing a SWAT team to be dispatched to their... This one only even look bad. I seen ones what look bad. They got on a damn near a hazmat kind of hat with a riot shield and fake special op unit looking Peppa Pigs. Like these niggas look harmless. But on top of they seen a little white girl, so it wasn't even a big deal. It looked like I didn't. Somebody let me know. I seen some video where they was on bullshit like that. Like that shit is dangerous, bro. Your fans retarded. The Twitch fans, some of the most toxic retarded audience ever terrible their location eventually the woman comes back to her stream only to explain to the police that a prankster overheard her apartment number via stream this is something i've never had happen i didn't think would happen to me. but it fucking happened she was okay as this could have easily gotten out of control under slightly different circumstances but she's understandably rattled by the experience Streamer nearly robbed in car. People do wild things in front of the camera, and sometimes forget that they still exist in the real world. This man while streaming was flexing a wad of cash in front of the camera for his Facebook followers. His window was open, so suddenly the bragging stream turned into a would-be robbery. The camera drops and the stream goes dark, and it's not entirely sure what happens after this. Yeah. The language gets worse as he yells after his would-be attacker and a few shots go off seemingly into the air. Suddenly it pulls back to him in his seat, unharmed and not robbed. Whether this was staged or not, it's probably a good lesson to take away. If you're going to flex a large sum of cash in front of the camera, you're probably better off doing it somewhere with just a little bit of privacy. Sushi Potato oh, aggressively thing. grabbed and held. Streaming out in public, Sushi Potato oh, deals oh, with strange oh. people in crowd. I'm back. Outs. This time, a man tries soliciting her for sex all of a sudden, only to have her pull away quickly and get herself somewhere else. Sex with you. With what? You Wait, what? The stream, however, catches as the man starts grabbing at her, refusing to let her leave, as he explains he wasn't asking for sex. He says he was asking if she would have sex with someone else, but she's uncomfortable and still tries to get away. Okay, we're going. Oh, okay, no, don't no. touch me. Oh. All right, get it off. Oi, 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 get off me. Beach. Oi, get Beach. off me, buddy. This time, he grabs her leg, and she starts... What the fuck? What the fuck? This time he grabs her leg and she starts shouting until he lets go. Thankfully she gets away, but if she hadn't been so quick, she might not have been able to. Suddenly groped live in public. When you're exposed in public, it's hard to keep yourself safe. A stranger approached this streamer only to find herself the victim of a sudden groping. Unfortunately, as he's close, the man takes an opportunity to grab at her chest. She yanks herself away quickly enough that he can't do anything else. Japan. The world is watching. Right. No! Whoa, 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 man, don't do that. <laughs> she manages to keep a smile on her face, despite looking incredibly uncomfortable before the stream suddenly cuts. You just never know what you're going to run into in public, and this woman was the unfortunate victim of one such attention grabber who seized the opportunity. Escaping a dangerous restaurant. Boundaries are essential for popular streamers, especially when people seem intent on disregarding them. This streamer, I'm Jasmine, was filming herself at a restaurant as a group of men began to harass her. Oh, okay. 
I'm a streamer. Streamer. But what, what do you stream on? What app? She's friendly at first, but does her best to get her away from them. Jasmine gets more uncomfortable with the drug men who don't know how to take a hint. The two of them pull away, finally sitting across the restaurant before one of the men pulls out a gun. She sets her camera down and at this point decides to get away from the bar. If she hadn't been so quick to get away, it could have gone south quickly, as the men hadn't stopped paying attention to her. When you're out in public, safety first is a good rule of thumb. Do you see anything? <sighs> Chase down crazy. with Katana. Unfortunately, as it turns out, some people forget that their favorite streamer is actually a person and not just some character to be ogled or bothered in public. Ellie Gato has these creepy encounters often due to her stream's open and candid nature. While dressed up as a Wonder Woman for what seems like a convention in Japan, she encounters a few unpleasant individuals before being chased by a man with a katana. Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> oh god. They get away, but not before having to seemingly run for their lives for a while, and streaming it all live to her followers in the meantime. She visibly is shaken at the end of the video, tearful as she's approached by someone there to help. Oh no, no! While this is an extreme circumstance, this is a very real outcome of being public on the internet. This time it ended okay, but if it were to happen again, it might not. Stalker at TwitchCon can't take a hint. At best, fan encounters with streamers can be uncomfortable and downright creepy under the worst circumstances. Soda Poppin, this streamer, was approached at TwitchCon for a chat. But as it turns out, the person who approached him wasn't just any fan. In fact, it was a creepy stalker who had been waiting for an opportunity to approach for a while. His name was Tyler, and a few years before this encounter tried to move cross-country into Soda Poppin's house without warning or any advance notice. You take me out. I do not want to see you. You're the one person. You've done some weird shit. You creep me out. I don't want to do me well, dude. Feeling bad, the streamer lets him stay overnight, but the man refused to leave. Soda Poppin has to ask to be left alone and for him to go, but at first, the person refuses to. Sorry, I don't like making well, awkward situations on your stream, but I don't, it's the one person I can't meet. It's a stalker. It's weird. Eventually he does, but there are several tense moments where it's unclear what the man will do. Before they break the tension, another fan approaches someone next to him. Yo, that shit is crazy. I do an IRL stream and it's some non-playable characters by me. Oh yeah, they're they're gonna suffer fall damage for sure. Cause they're falling. That's crazy. I can't. That shit crazy, bro. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the video, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick, and Rumble. I will see you on the next one. I'm out.